city of Westfield has a lot to offer. Many amenities, not only in its own boundaries, but also in the surrounding area. Westfield is the northernmost suburb of Indianapolis. It sits at the top of Hamilton County, which is the wealthiest county in the state. Highway 31 runs right down the center of it. That's probably the, about the busiest highway in the state other than the interstates. It's about 10 minutes down to Carmel, about the same to 465, which is the beltway that runs around the uh, city of Indianapolis and will take you anywhere you wanna go in the metro area. It's about 20 miles to the downtown circle. That's uh, a, probably about a 45 minute drive. Not that you're probably gonna have a whole lot of need to go all the way downtown unless you're going to a Colts game or a Pacers game or out to eat someplace or something like that. Now State Road 32 runs east and west, kind of cuts through the middle of the city because the city itself is about a seven by seven mile square and you have roads running about every mile north and south and east and west. But 31 and 32 are your key travel routes. Now let's talk jobs. Westfield is largely a bedroom community. Most people work outside of Westfield, either in Carmel or down along the Beltway. But there are some jobs in the schools, in the, a limited number in manufacturing, and then just in your basic services. Okay, let's talk schools. There's six elementary schools, an intermediate, and a middle school, and a high school. Neat thing about the high school, it's got an enrollment of 2,400, which is considerably smaller than most of its neighbors. And some people just might like that a great deal. Now the system is rated A plus by niche.com. It is ranked number six out of 290 public school systems in the state. That puts it in the top 2%, which is just crazy good. It is also home to Garen Catholic High School with an enrollment of about 800 students and it is ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the United States year in and year out. So you have two great options for where to send your kids to school. Moving on, let's talk uh, hospitals and medical care. There's a Riverview Hospital basically at the junction of uh, highways 31 and 32. There are many exceptional hospitals located about 15 minutes south in Carmel. These are right on 31. They are, uh, include the IU Health System, uh, Ascension St. Vincent and the uh, Riley's Children's Hospital. Surrounding those are many specialty hospitals like Heart Hospital, Oncology, Women's Hospital, um, Cardiovascular, and there are many, many ancillary medical buildings surrounding these hospitals. There are tons of healthcare opportunities to satisfy all your needs about 15 minutes south of the main part of Westfield. There is a lot to do in Westfield. The city and the organizations have put together a full schedule of events. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of a few of the major ones a little bit later in this video. And any discussion of Westfield has to begin with Grand Park. Stay tuned to get the full scoop, but there's more to Westfield. Looking at Parks and Rec, there's 12 parks with playgrounds, splash pads, disc golf, a skate park, picnic tables, shelters, gazebos, and 94 miles of trails, even an equestrian trail. Now, when it comes to golf, there's only one public course. So you either have to join a country club or go to nearby Carmel or Noblesville, which has many good options for golf. Music lovers have it better off. Cool Creek Park offers six concerts during the summer, and there's the new Jam at the Junction, which has a concert every Friday night during the summer. Connor Prairie is not too far off. It seats 8,000 people and has 12 concerts during the summer, which are very well attended, and everybody has a good time. We're gonna visit there, and we're also gonna stick our head in the door at Ruoff Music Center. Now, Ruoff is not in Westfield, but it is well, maybe about 30 minute drive away. And uh, it is the gem when it comes to music in the state of Indiana. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, it is in the top five of ticket sales worldwide. So be sure to stay tuned to see what's going on there. Okay, when it comes to shopping, along State Road 32 to the east are strip centers. To the west, you've got uh, the development of big box stores. And if you go south, right on the border with Carmel, you've got Greyhound Pass. And there are a lot of big box stores, not to mention a lot of other stores. And then right across the street in Carmel, is the Clay Terrace, which is an open air mall with even more stores. So there is plenty of shopping opportunity for people that live in Westfield. Okay, let's talk restaurants. Park Street has a number that come very highly recommended. 
My favorite is the Italian house. You're gonna need to get a reservation probably about two weeks in advance. It's that good. Now there are a number of uh, brew pubs and wine bistros that get quite a bit of attention. But my other fave is Grindstone on the Monon. Be sure to get the pickle brine chicken sandwich. Sounds kind of odd, but it's really pretty darn good. Now, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Westfield, Indiana, or to walk through a home you've seen advertised, just text me or book a call. Okay, let's jump in the ride and go take a look at these world famous attractions. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Let's talk the Grand Park Sports Complex in Westfield, Indiana. Evidently, the City Fathers had seen the movie Field of Dreams starring Kevin Costner, where he said, if we build it, they will come. If you build it, you will come. Actually, he didn't quite say that, but I'm gonna paraphrase it since that's how it's usually paraphrased anyways. If we build it, they will come. So in 2007, the City Fathers came up with this idea and envisioned Grand Park. Seven years later in 2014, Grand Park opened and it continues to grow. There are 400 plus acres. There are 31 sports field, 26 ball diamonds. There are three super large indoor facilities and that's just for starters. You put that all together and it makes for one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. Let me repeat that, one of the 10 largest sports complexes in the country. It is the home of the NFL's Indianapolis Colts training camp and it's a host of untold number of youth and adult sports competitions, not to mention leagues and camps, and it draws athletes and their families from all over the country. It attracts somewhere between one and two million people to the complex and to the city of Westfield. That brings in millions of dollars to the local economy, and it makes Westfield a very busy place, especially during the summer months. The Grand Park Sports Complex is truly a Grand Park. Hey, to learn how I can help make your next real estate deal a success story and at no cost to you, watch this short video clip right now because you'll be glad you did. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and uh, oh, the what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not gonna get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know, some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time, it really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most, but uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so, but hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream. Uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here. But at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. 
Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in, and then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early, you can stay till the very end, you catch the Encore, you walk out, it's five minutes to get out of the parking lot, and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.